Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 72 on the Mana League. I'm John as always, and it's time for the second last Oath of the Gatewatch draft. We will have one next week, and then we will be into shadows over Innistrad set reviews, and then pre-release recaps and all kinds of stuff like this. So this will be the last not last, second last, Oath of the Gatewatch draft. Uh, so I will join this event, and I will see you guys for Pack 1, Pick 1. All right, here we are for Pack 1, Pick 1, and uh, yeah, Nissa. Nissa's like eight tickets and pretty darn solid in draft. There's a Cyclone Sire nowhere near, Havoc Sower nowhere near, Bushwalker nowhere near. There's not even Oblivion Strike, which wouldn't even compete with Nissa. So we're going to take Nissa, of course. Uh, yeah, so I've had miserable luck this uh, past week on Magic Online, at least. Tons of one land hands and mulligans and no land hands and etc. So hopefully that turns around. Uh, we've got a Birthing Hulk. Birthing Hulk is fun. And it would stick us green. There's a Commando, Path Warden, Drone, Wall... Not too much else going on. I could take the Birthing Hulk and just continue on green and try to do kind of a green ramp plan almost. Um, better than Flaying Drone, Flayer Drone, I think. Better than the Wall. Yeah, let's take the Birthing Hulk. And we will go green, maybe. Probably. We'll try to with Nissa, especially. All right, we get past a Relief Captain. That's interesting. We get past an Oblivion Strike. So a rare was taken, and then a common was taken over Oblivion Strike. I'm assuming a rare and a foil rare were taken out of this pack, and that these have no real indication of what's going on. Oblivion Strike is ridiculously good, but the green-white support deck is also really good. I cannot assume that black is open because of this Oblivion Strike. I am going to take the Relief Captain and look towards green-white support. Maybe that was wrong, but I hope not. And supporting a bunch of plants would be nice. Uh, just getting a bunch of support would be nice. All right, we get an Oath of Gideon. That's not terribly exciting. We do get a Saddleback Legac, which I think will be the pick here. Path Warden... Ma is okay, sweep away. I, I really think this is between Legac and Path Warden, even if we weren't green. Even if we weren't green. But I'll take the Legac. Uh, what do we get here? We've got a Lantern, an Uprising, Free Runner. I think I might be okay with the Lantern here. Head towards Rampy-ish support. Yeah, let's take a Lantern now. We don't have to take one later. Uh, Pulse of Marasa, Expedition Raptor. That's what I like to see. Better than the Immobilizer, Aggressor, Lantern. Yeah, let's take the Raptor. Uh, Natural State, Shoulder to Shoulder. Another Free Runner. We'll take Shoulder to Shoulder here. Half a Protector, pretty okay. Better than Loam Larva, I think. Um... Nothing else really going on here, so let's take the Protector. All right, we follow that up with uh, Shoulder to Shoulder or Natural State. Uh, I could take a second Shoulder to Shoulder. There's a Flame Seeker, so red's looking a little bit open. Uh, but yeah, let's take a, a second Shoulder to Shoulder. I don't know if I'll play two. Uh, Searing Light seems fine. Another Flame Seeker. Huh. Uh, Aeronaut is totally okay. Better than Vines, I think. But Vines is a, a, an okay combat trick. But we'll take the Aeronaut here. Get some creatures. We can't have support without creatures. Oath of Gideon. This is not the same Oath, is it? 11 picks? Pick number 12? No, this can't be the same Oath of Gideon. Um, but we'll take it, because we're not going to play out of the other cards. I don't think we'll play the Oath, though. So, Oh, we do have a Planeswalker, right? We do have a Planeswalker. So she could have an additional loyalty counter. Maybe we keep that in the main deck for now. Maybe we do. All right, we get a natural state for the sideboard. Seems okay. And then second last pick is going to be what? An Untamed Hunger. In the sideboard you go. Mountain, in the sideboard you go. Pretty okay deck for pack one. 12 totally fine playable cards that I'm happy with. Second shoulder to shoulder is 
a little bit strong of a word. <laughs> hey, another relief captain. Uh, Oblivion Strike, Saddleback Legac. Maybe we can get it back around. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take that, uh, that second relief captain for sure. Oh, I need some green, don't I? I only have three green cards. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Make a stand, stocking drone, vines, searing light. We've already got a searing light. Stocking drone seems fine, I think. Yeah, let's take a stocking drone. Good support target. If we uh, get some colorless in our deck, it's a, a decent pump up to a 3 4. Seems totally fine. Follow that up with another Oblivion Strike getting passed. Wow. Um, so we've got an Elemental Uprising or a Mighty Leap. I don't like either of those. So I think we're really looking at Holdout Settlement or Pathfinder. Holdout gives us the Colorless for Stocking Drone, but so does Sears Lantern. Kozilek's Pathfinder gives us another kind of uh, later-ish game target. So I think I will take that for now. Yeah. Uh, Sky Climber, Aeronaut, Vines. I think we'll take a Sky Climber here. We need to keep getting creatures. So Sky Climber seems fine. Need some more two drops, I think. Um, ooh, Heatron Crawler or another Stocking Drone. Uh, Reflector Mage, I don't want to splash. We have nothing to help us splash yet. Um, stocking Drone, Heatron Crawler. Stocking Drone, Heatron Crawler. Let's take the drone. Um, another Searing Light. Or a waste. <laughs> yeah, Searing Light's the pick here. There's a Foil Swamp. Ooh, pretty. Uh, Searing Light. But we're not going to play two of those, I don't think. Uh, Spawn Binder, Alpha Protector, Blessing. Lantern number two. Or Loam Larva. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. How many allies do we have? We have Captain, Captain... Sky Climber, Protector, Aeronauts. We've got five allies. We've got a fair bit. Um, whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Don't know if that recorded either. Probably wouldn't have, but my screen just went black for a, a second. Um, spawn Binder, Protector, Larva. Eh, spawn Binder, I suppose. Uh, larva, Uprising, Holdout. Not wanting to play the Lone Larva. I'm at 18 playables that I'm pretty happy with on halfway through pack two. <laughs> um, Lone Larva Holdout Settlement. Let's take the Holdout here because I probably want to play a colorless land, I think, for the Stocking Drones. Um, shoulder to shoulder number three, I guess. We're not going to play three of them. I don't know if we're going to play two of them. Uh, Steering Light, Vines. Let's grab a Vines. I don't need Steering Light number three. So what do I want in pack three? An Unnatural Aggression would be nice. Stasis Snare would be nice. Um, let's take an Elemental Uprising. It's a really late Thought Harvester. I don't know if I'll play that Elemental Uprising. I don't really like it. I know some people like it, and yeah, most people have had, like, good, uh, you know, uses out of it, but I feel like there's so many bad times for that card, too. Uh, we will take uh, another Sears Lantern, but we won't play it. Uh, it's a really late Maw of Kozilek. Throw it away. Let's take a Negate. Throw it away. And we'll take a mountain and we'll throw it away. All right, pack three. We need three playables, preferably four or five, so we can replace some things, but just three. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ah! Ah! Ha ha! Ah! Yeah, we're going to take Gideon and we're going to play Gideon Nissa uh, dot deck. Um. Yeah, there's a sheer drop. Maybe we get that back around. But Gideon, wow. This is going to be a ridiculous deck. We've at least play, paid for the draft, even if we don't uh, win. 
So we've got a McKinney Patrol, a Brood Hunter Worm, Call the Scions. Uh, we will take the Patrol, I suppose. I don't even need to think about what we take now. Just one. <laughs> All right, we can follow that up with an Entanglers or a Warcaller or a Sentinel. Warcaller seems interesting. I do have one, two, three, four, sort of five, six. Um, he makes allies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With all the allies that we've got, plus the repeatable allies from Gideon, we're going to go with the Tajuru Warcaller. I think slightly better than the Entanglers. All the Entanglers are good and better than Ghostly Sentinel, I think. So, Warcaller in. Plated Crusher, no thanks. Um,. Not much else going on here, though. There's a natural connection. So we can try to sort of ramp a little bit and also fix our colors. I, I'm not going to play Plated Crusher. Or green, 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 when green is my slightly lighter color, is just not something I want to do. Natural connection, on the other hand, gets me my second white or my second green, or gets me my land to get me up to a Pathfinder or a Birthing Hulk. So I think we will go with the natural connection. Yes. And we will take out uh, Elemental Uprising. Uh, Fertile Thicket, Evolving Wilds. Evolving Wilds sounds good. Um, man, Sky Spawner, Turn Against, Horribly Awry. I wish I was drafting Triple Battle. Um, Baloth, just no. Not really what I want. I'll take the Wilds here. So how much colorless do I need? Stalking Drone, Stalking Drone. I don't know if this Pathfinder will make it. So yeah, I think I think the one holdout settlement plus the lantern should be fine enough. So we will play holdout and wilds. Yeah. So I still probably want to get rid of the Pathfinder and maybe one of the shoulder to shoulders. I wouldn't mind replacing that with the creature. Otherwise, pretty happy with the draft. <laughs> 24, 25 tickets just in those two planeswalkers. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We've got a Life Spring Druid. That's ramp. Is that an ally? No, it's just an Elf Druid. Um, you're just a human shaman. Life Spring Druid. I do kind of want a two drop, though. I've only got three. <laughs> Druid Invoker. Druid Invoker. Well, let's go with the Druid. Cut out the Pathfinder. Uh, Griffin. Medic. Not much else. Man, this would have been awesome if it was Triple Battle. Uh, Courier Griffin. Anything I want to replace? Not really. Maybe one of the shoulders. Cut a shoulder, put in Griffin. That pushes my curve up even higher. I need to live to my Planeswalkers, so... Hmm. But Stonehaven just really doesn't do anything for me. I'll take the Griffin, I suppose. Uh, nothing here. Nothing at all. Maybe we hate out a Cloud Manta. Yep, let's hate out a Cloud Manta. Um, nothing here. I don't want to play a blister pod. Not something for me. Slightly too many four drops. I don't like how many there are there, but oh well. We do have a Life Spring Druid. We do have a Sears Lantern. Um, sure. Let's take the blister pod just in case we need to lower a curve out of the board or something. Um, Infuse with the Elements is not a card that I will be playing, although I could converge for three with Holdout Settlement. But still, just never really worked out. Never really worked out. Um, so the other option is Hato to Kozilek Sentinel. No, we'll take the Infuse. Maybe we play it out of the sideboard, but I really doubt it. Hey, we'll Hato to Benthic, though. Although, Plummet, I have no reach and almost no flyers. Yeah, we take the sideboard Plummet. Um, let's take a rush of ice, and then let's take a 
Is that foil? That is foil. Foil planes. Dispel. Planes. All right. Very happy with this deck. Very, 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 very happy with this deck. Uh, a large portion of that is due to the value, but it also just seems like a solid green-white deck. There is a lot of double. Uh, Relief Captains, Gideon, Expedition Raptor, Tadrew, Nissa, all double-colored. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 green mana symbols. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 white. Um, so that's going to be what? Like a 2 cards, 17, so we're going to be 15 basics. So it's going to be like 9, 6? 9, 6. 6, eh? Technically 7 with the wilds. Kind of eight with the holdout. Nine, six. Could go eight, seven. The white is ever so slightly later. No, let's go with nine, six. All right, I think I like this. I think I like it. Plummet for the sideboard. Uh, natural state for the sideboard. Three other cards, probably not really for the sideboard. Maybe a second steering light for the sideboard. Maybe a shoulder to shoulder. Uh, but yeah, I like this deck. I'm pretty happy with it. Biggest value I've had in a draft in a long time. But I will see you guys for match one, where hopefully we turn that value into wins.